Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rohan. I hope you are doing extremely well. So in this video, we are gonna talk about something that I was like, you know, uh, used to think about it a lot in my college days, but now it have changed. Uh, my perspective has changed, right? So first thing first, uh, uh, I when I started programming, I built my first app and. Uh, I was like, dude, come on! I I made this app in just two weeks, and I used to think like, you know, uh, why does this company needs you know hundreds of thousands of people to develop uh, the app? Like, you know, there could be some limited number of people that can do so, right? Uh, but now, working in uh, big tech and with a team, uh, I have gained a lot of you know uh, perspective and uh, things that. allow me to think differently now now i just think you know uh, we need probably more people to this this work there is there is lots of work that needs to be done right so this is how it have changed and in this video we are going to talk about like what actually software engineers do in a company right you know be it any company we are just talk about some generalized things and it is a part of their job so if you also think like you know why a software company needs lot of people to do something that can be done with some limited number of people you might be wrong at some places right uh, because there are lots of thing that goes in the back end and we are going to talk about that in this video so let's get started so we are going to divide this in certain sections and tell like what actually software engineers do uh so let like, let's start with the first one uh this is the main goal of a software engineer is to build new features and you no know, plan new features and plan new products and build new products right uh you might have already have seen lot of apps bringing like lot of new features every time over the period of time right so what happens is it it is a cycle of process that goes on goes on goes on and software engineers and there are various other roles that work together to bring out this feature right and how it happens is like you know suppose there is a one product feature uh, comes in Uh, from the customer feedback or maybe like you know the leader said that you know we need this thing in our app uh so every feature crew is decided like something like this divided is something like this or combined something like this is there will be software engineers there will be engineering manager there will be pm uh, there will be like you know designers and there will be other people as well but overall like these people are combined together that is something known as feature crew that will be working on a feature together that's why they are called feature crew uh now what happens is uh this goes on and you know product manager come with uh, features and they own the feature and drive the timeline of it and they work with designer to get the design and get the design and after getting the design what we do as a software engineer is go into and simply you know uh bring that design into code uh that's are simple as that like and there are a lot of question that happens in between and that could be like you know uh talked about on the process along the line there are a lot of conversation that happens in between between this feature crew uh these people uh to drive the product to drive the feature ahead uh so that you know uh the users of that particular product or app uh, continues to use it right so this is uh the first one that we talked about uh let's see into the second one as a software engineer is just not only you write code 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 and code right there are a lot of other things that you do and uh the second thing that we are going to talk about is you know mentoring and code reviews so once you are a senior engineer or or have spent some time on the code base and you understand like uh, everything around that code base in and out uh there is something known as code reviews that you need to do so code reviews are generally when people are checking in their code in a certain code repository there needs to be some reviews done by all around the team so that the code that goes into the repo is just better and best right so a uh, people you know submit a pr something known as pull request and people from the team comment out like you know hey this this needs to be done in a certain way and this code needs to be changed in something like this to you know uh, do something uh, optimized do something in an optimized way right so this is what happens uh, behind the scenes your responsibility also include like you know mentoring new people and peers who join the team 
very recently so that they can you know onboard very quickly and very nicely and learn everything in peace so they can start contributing to the product right and also once they start contributing it your like goal is to uh, make sure that crs are proper and make sure that very right code goes into the code base and this honestly goes in and out but believe me there will be like always something new required so you have to always you know go ahead ask the team and evolve and you know improve on the process third thing uh, there will be always you know uh, new tech stack coming in uh, new technologies coming in some workflow that could be done in a better way than it is done now so you have to always learn right you have to learn new tech stack implement and do a poc so doing a poc is a part of your job for example there is a feature that is doing something and there is a new tech stack or tool that came in that can improve that feature and optimize that feature at that point of time what you have to do is you have to do a poc and you know just present to your uh, leadership team that hey you know what i have tried this poc and it improved that product or feature in certain way so we might consider having this feature in our app or uh, our product right so that can that might be considered as well uh, fourth one uh, on call requirements so on call is like you know something that software engineers don't like uh, most of the software engineers don't like but you know this is a added on responsibility the concept of on call is uh, as an engineer when you are working on a product or service you have to make sure that your customers are satisfied when the production features break sometime or when the production feature are running right there will be instances where some issue will come or something will break and there will need to be someone who can look into that immediately so what happens is uh, each of the member in the team just revolves around and you know in a rotation takes responsibility for a week or two week to look into that on call request as the name suggests on call whenever the uh, you know bugs or issues come when the user reports it you have to take them and assign to yourself and investigate it why the issue is coming and you know mitigate that issue so that you know the the, the customers or user does not uh, don't get affect much much and have have a great experience you know uh, uh, using your product maybe like there could be some teams where you know there is no on call concept uh, maybe they work on a front end or uh, they they have like something some service that don't need like immediate attention if something goes wrong right so on call is like you know depends upon the team as well fifth thing so there is not only the feature that you know user see or you know uh, the the external user see there are a lot of things that goes in the back end uh, like building internal tools building you know improving the developer experience to like whatever developer working on that product have a great experience while developing their app so this is one of more thing like you know improving the developer experience and working on some internal tools right in a big tech generally there are a lot of teams that work on internal tools that can improve the performance of the app or maybe like you know uh do some workflow in a better way so that you know developers get better experience that eventually indirectly like you know uh, you know make the app best make the product better but it's not directly that is seen from the user right so this is how it works uh sixth thing so again like you know as we talked about there will always new tech stack coming in where you have to do pocs but there is one more thing like you know for example you have your code base could be old it could be written in a some language that is not that much supported or not that much great there are new tech stack that gaming that is you know very good in terms of performance or anything right so you can consider migrating them to the new tech stack that also happens so there needs to be some migration work also happens sometimes that could be part of the first thing that develop new features or you know uh, bring out new features but again like you know migration could be also the some tax there this can range into like you know months as well uh, the migration tax right migrating simply old uh, language or frameworks to you know new uh, frameworks and there are a lot of things that happens uh, in and around between like you know different teams right but one thing is common that you know fun fun always happens you know planning something or going out like you know for a dinner or partying some day when you have released your feature and uh, it's always best feeling when your product like you know you know feature reached to production and a lot of users use it it's one of the greatest feeling of a software engineer so fun is always there there are few times when you feel frustrated but uh, it's a part of you know the journey but 
but eventually it's a great role to be in and i feel like you know you should consider it if you love building products or you if you love like you know uh making something working that people can use so uh that's it for this video i hope like you have got some idea what software engineers do uh but you have if you have any questions that drop down in the comment section i'll just answer them uh till then take care bye bye if you gain any value out of this video on my channel consider subscribing and we are about to hit 3k i'll try to do a simple giveaway so make sure you subscribe and like this video and i'll see you next time till then take care bye bye